Good morning, my dear students. Now I will discuss class 7 maths from page number 166. Number 3. Shubodh bought an old scooter for rupees 6000 and sold it for 7200. Find out the percentage of profit or loss. We already know that or I discuss about these things when it is profit time and when it is loss. Here is bought that means the buying price or the cost price 6000 and sold it 7200 that means selling price is more than buying price or cost price that means it will be the profit time. So we should subtract the selling price uh, subtract the buying price or the cost price from selling price then we should find out the profit after that we should express it by a uh, fraction of cost price out of cost price we should write here profit that means profit will be goes upper portion of the fraction and cost price will be goes as a denominator or the lower portion of the fraction then we should multiply with 100 next i will discuss number b a fruit seller bought a basket of mangoes for 1200 rupees he threw away some rotten mangoes and sold the rest for that means the remaining mangoes sold for 900 rupees find out the percentage of profit or loss it doesn't matter which mangoes are rotten rotten or which mangoes are sell sold okay Fruit seller bought that means fruit seller buy the mangoes buy, buys the mango for 1200 and sell it rupees 9900 that means it will be loss because selling price is less than cost price so we should find out the loss subtract 900 or the selling price from the cost price 1200 after that we should express it as fraction 1200 is the cost price so it will be goes as lower portion of the fraction and loss 3 300 it will be goes up or the upper portion of the fraction then we should multiply with 100 Next, I will tell you number C. Raghavan, oh, sorry, Raghavan, sorry, it will be Raghavan, bought 20 chairs for 4000 and he spent rupees 14, 40 on painting each chair. That means per chair, it will be 40 rupees spent. He spent 40 rupees for per chair. That means each and every chair. For each and every every chair, he spent 40 rupees again. After buying these chairs, he sold 15 chairs for 300 rupees each. That means each chair, each and every chair, he sold 300 rupees. And also the remaining 5 chairs, that means 15 chairs, 15 chairs after 15 chairs it will be remaining 5 chairs at rupees 220 each and every chairs find out the percentage of profit or loss at first i will tell you for each and every chairs painting 40 rupees he spent that means 20 multiply with 40 because each and every chairs for 40 rupees 
here is 20 chairs so we should multiply with 40 with 20 okay so it will be 800 800 plus 4000 that means cost price 4000 plus 800 it will be 4800 and 15 chairs 300 that means 15 multiplied with 300 and 5 chairs 220 each that means 5 multiplied with 220 after multiplication we should add the results this multiplication and this multiplication we should add okay after addition we are getting the buying uh, sorry uh, selling price and also we get uh, addition of 800 with 4000 it will be the cost price we should subtract the more price from or less price from the more price then you should multiply with uh, sorry divided by cost price and multiply with 100 it will be the percentage of profit or loss then also bought an old motorcycle rupees 11,400 he spent six 600 on its repairing and sold it for 11,400 that means he sold it 11,400 and buy it bought it from 11,400 and also his, he spent the 60 rupees for repairing that means 60 rupees will be loss so find out the loss or percentage of loss that means 600 by cost price it will be 11,400 and multiply with 100 what should be the selling price of the motorcycle for earning 15 rupee 15 percent profit that means if the cost price will be goes as 100 percent that means 100 percent is equals to 11,400 and if the 15 percent profit that means in total 100 plus 15 it will be 115 percent we should find out the 115 percent is equals to how much by the unitary method 100 percent is equals to 11,400 and 1 is equals to 11,400 by 100 and 115 because it is 15 percent profit after 100 percent cost price it will be 15 percent cost profit so it will be goes to 115 percent so 115 percent is equals to how much that means I will tell you again 100% is equals to 11,400 and 1% 1 is equals to 11,400 by 100 and 115% is equals to 11,400 by 100 multiply with 115 it will be the result so you should you will try the uh, try to eat to H E F G H G H you will try it yourself and you should do uh, A B and C A B C and D okay thank you my dear students thank you for watching